Hey guys, HDV here. Now, recently, I made a video going over who I thought to be the best starter Pokemon of each region is. So today, I thought I'd look at the other side of the coin and see which starter Pokemon is the worst of each region. Now, as we all know, choosing your starter Pokemon in each region is one of the most difficult tasks you're going to have to accomplish when starting your brand new journey. All three of the little critters are adorable, so picking one to take with you is always difficult. However, some starter Pokemon are much worse than their peers, but which ones are they exactly? With that being said, today's video tries answering the question of who is the worst starter Pokemon in each region. Of course, this is all my own opinion, and it's completely cool if you disagree with what I say in the video. Don't hesitate to drop a comment down below about the video and if you found it interesting or not. Don't forget to leave a like on this video too to show your support and I'll be sure to bring out a new video very shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date and follow my Twitter to hear updates about the channel. Now without further ado, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. Starting things off, we of course head over to Kanto, the home of Generation 1. Now the worst starter Pokemon for this region, in my opinion, isn't actually one of the classic three, but actually Pikachu. Just as the hype of Pokemon Red and Blue began to die down, when the game had been released and thoroughly played to death by the whole damn world, what was Nintendo to do next? Start the whole thing off again with Pokemon Yellow, that's what. By his so doing, not only could Nintendo executives everywhere afford that loft conversion they'd always wanted, but they also started a dangerous precedent, the triple dip, the third version. Pokemon Yellow, of course, cast the series' unofficial mascot in the lead role. This time around, Pikachu itself was to be your starter, and well, it was kind of a bad time. It refused to evolve, for one, stunting its usefulness and it was fairly hopeless against some of the gyms as it was. Therefore, I believe Pikachu to be the worst starter Pokemon from the Kanto region. Coming up next is of course Generation 2, and the home of the Johto region. The worst starter Pokemon of the three starters in my opinion is Chikorita. Now, I don't have any real beef with Chikorita, or by extension with Meganium. It's a relatively solid grass type, doing what most grass types were born to do, spread statuses, tank hits and or be hit by one of its upteen million weaknesses and keel over like a drunken father at a wedding. That's just the natural order of things, it's doing what it was born to do, and I have no qualms with that. My issue is, there's no particular reason for it to exist. It doesn't really have a USP over other similar Pokemon who do the exact same thing and is outshined by several who do it better. Accessibility in the lower tiers is really all that it's got on its side. That and its darn cuteness. Therefore, I believe Chikorita to be the worst starter Pokemon from the Johto region. Coming up next is of course Generation 3, and the home of the Hoenn region. The worst starter Pokemon of the three starters for this region, in my opinion, is Trico. Now don't get me wrong. Trico is an amazing Pokemon, and it has an excellent Mega Revolution in Mega Sceptile, being Grass and Dragon. However, one Eye Shard later and Mega Sceptile really gets creamed. It also isn't up to the standards of Mega Blaziken's amazing Speed Boost ability or Swampert, who with its Water and Ground typing has a sole weakness to Grass. Coupled with its great all-round stats, it serves perfectly as a tank. Let's not forget its spangly new Mega Evolution either, which bolsters its defenses further while also making it a lightning fast and terrifying rain sweeper with Swift Swim. Sceptile just doesn't seem to reach the tiers that its two counterparts do. Therefore, I believe Trico to be the worst starter Pokemon from the Hoenn region. Coming up next is of course Generation 4, and the home of the Sinnoh region. The worst starter Pokemon of the three starters for this region, in my opinion, is Turtwig. Unlike Mudkip, who is blessed with the super solid water ground typing, Torterra is lumbered, 
with a distinctly shankly grass ground. It's exclusive, so I guess that's kind of neat, but great Pokemon are combinations of all sorts of factors, and Torterra lacks all of them. As with Meganium, this guy struggles to find a role in which it isn't outperformed by something else. If you ever see a Torterra in battle, which you won't, it will be cursing it up, being generally bulky and presumably using some of that fancy ground stab. In that sense, it's a little different to the norm in that it isn't a status machine, but the awful speed stat and pretty poor typing that this Pokemon possesses really lets it down. Therefore, I believe Turtwig to be the worst starter Pokemon from the Sinnoh region. Coming up next is of course Generation 5 and the home of the Unova region. The worst starter Pokemon of the three starters for this region in my opinion is Tepig. As I say, there have been more than enough fire and fighting starters through the franchise's history. Ample you might even say. If I never have to see another one, I'll be pretty happy. With Blaziken and Infernape already doing the rounds, you have to be damn special to pull off that fire fighting thing around here buddy boy. Sadly, Embor totally fails by most accounts. While it has high HP, its defences are really poor and its offences are nothing too special. This makes it a tough cookie to use effectively, without trying to utilise flame charge to boost its speed or some odd sort of trick room set. It now has access to the ability Reckless and some nice recoil moves like Head Smash and Wow Charge to use with it, but that's more gimmicky than anything. Therefore, I believe Tepig to be the worst starter Pokemon from the Unova region. Coming up next is of course Generation 6 and the home of the Kalos region. The worst starter Pokemon of the three starters for this region in my opinion is Chespin. Low though I am to say this, the Chespin line is another unfortunate victim of Grass Starter Syndrome. I really like the idea of Chestnut, its concept and its signature move, but it's just such a drag to try and make it work effectively and consistently. The grass and fighting typing is shared only by Verizion and Breloom. It's a little mediocre, but it offers an interesting combination of resistances, which can be a great help when it comes to plugging holes in a team. Chestnut does boast impressive bulk, and the spiky shield move to protect itself and chip the opponent a little in the process. It saw a smattering of success as a result of these qualities, but it was totally overshadowed in its trio by the power of Greninja. Therefore, I believe Chespin to be the worst starter Pokemon from the Kalos region. Last but not least, coming up next is of course Generation 7 and the home of the Alola region. The worst star Pokemon of the three starters for this region in my opinion is Poplio. I'm sure there are some of you out there who took your first look at Poplio and fell in love. There's an odd kind of cuteness about the little guy, I guess, in a different way to the conventional wisdom on cute Pokemon. Its silly looking nature is kind of endearing, is what I'm getting at here. You're totally free to think that way, nobody's judging anyone here. One thing we can't deny though, is that Poplio was most definitely in last place when it came to early approval ratings. We had the Litten Brigade, those who wanted to be a bit cooler and edgier and went with the Owl, and then we had the third camp, the Poplio Hardcore. The former two made a meme out of Poplio and its dopey clown looks. Therefore, I believe Poplio to be the worst starter Pokemon from the Alola region. But with that wraps up this video. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you did enjoy the video though, please leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. Like I said at the start of the video, I would also love to hear your guys' opinions too on this subject, so be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I have a couple top 5s coming onto your screen in a second, so be sure to give them a watch if you have the time, and also subscribe if you like my content. That's everything from me though, so thanks for watching guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video.